And also, not that it matters, you... but you can right click to see bird trivia. Oh, that's true. Yeah. When you when you play a bird, does it eat that resource, or is that just a resource you have to have in order to? Play? Yes. You have to pay the it. Food? So you think have of to it pay like the Magic food the Gathering the mana. Gotcha. It's mana. Food's mana, and you get it from the bird feeder in the. Uh, so if you go to the forest tab, you see that bird feeder in the right. Mm -hmm. uh, when you gain food, you have to take it from there. So if it's not there, you have to wait until the food has kind of all been picked through, and then it'll re-roll. So if you needed, uh, well, I guess all the food's there, but if there wasn't a fish, you'd kind of just be out of luck until we all picked through the, the food and gotcha. it re-rolled. So. Although you can spend <laughs> two resources of a non-fish to be a I fish forgot, in a yeah. pinch. I forgot. Yeah. No, it's all a good thing. That, I don't play with that rule when we we're playing the board game, so I always and then forget the, about it. The wild is just one of any? Yep, wild is one of any, and the star nest type is also wild. That's just Counts something every that won't nest matter until wants. later. Yeah. And now we can't see Wander taking their turn, Correct. right? You cannot see we, what I'm, I'm currently choosing to do. We okay. will be able to... You can flip through the boards and see what they have done, though, when we get to the... Well, actually, yeah, if you click... I've chosen to keep two birds, a, a, a caterpillar, a wheat, and a fish. That's what Raps, Raps did. So you can click them and see what they gotcha. did. Gotcha. Yeah. But it also, like, you'll, you'll be able to see their boards and stuff when we, you know, do turns. That's also a really common opening for me is actually just holding two birds and three resources. Hold two birds and three stones. <laughs> <laughs> holding, holding a bird with three stones. <laughs> I, that's like a really really bad bird to stone ratio for, uh, really for an idiom in in this game just uh, yeah we, just a little bit uh, I, Molly, I, 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 like ask I said, any I question on your mind and we'll help yes this is barely okay. competitive yeah this is, we, we, we straight up can like tell you how to play if yes. you want us to Yes. You will never also negatively impact another player in this game. You can actually only positively impact them by giving them the ability to draw a card or gain a resource as yeah. well. Yeah. The right, only right. the only player competition is if you happen to take the food that they wanted to out of the bird feeder. That's literally the only like aggressive action I guess you could even do. Mm. Uh, but we all have yeah, we all have our own board states other than the food. Yes. Uh, other than the food and the three uh, the three birds that are in the ocean or in the water area, uh, which are a common draw pile as well. Oh. Let's see here. It's all right. Almost so done. Basic trying to see which of them are the prettiest. Yeah, I'm trying to find the prettiest. Oh, Who's is the it? Prettiest bur burb in the ball. Are, are uh, V and Madi, are you guys the two puffins? Yes. Those are puffins, right? Or are they... Yeah. Okay. Um, I guess I don't have to give too much advice initially. But uh, th the main thing you're going to generally want to focus on is either trees or grasslands. The water area is mostly good for getting more cards, which is nice, but that rarely gives you resources unless you have a specific bird that get, generates your resources. Uh. Mm -hmm. And what what do the cards do? So okay. They all do different things. No, they're, I, they're... I meant the, the, the blue ones that you do get from water. Okay, it so... It seems to be what you get from water. So area. that lets you draw new cards. So yeah, that, those with, are just bird cards. Yeah, those so with the blue cards. area, if you notice, there's a deck of cards with feathers probably right behind your hand. Um, but you can see, like, mm -hmm. a, a pile of cards and then three birds uh, face up. So when you pick a draw action from the water area, you can either draw a face down card or any of the face up cards. So if you really want the black build magpie, you can, um, gotcha. you can just snag yeah. that. Ah. Oh. So we all gotcha. see the same... In bird yes, cards yes. right now. Correct. In the in the the blue area, yes, we all could draw those right now. Hmm. I, yeah. Again, I promise. After one round, you'll it'll click. <laughs> like yep. it will. So I could just play uh, this, and then pay pay 
pay a grain. I feel like the weirdest thing right now is not seeing people's turn. Yeah, you can you can click them after the fact. Like if you click reps and then you it'll say like his character will say what he did and then you can go to the area and see it. He played that little duck looking thing. Mm hmm. So yeah, you, you can see turns done after the fact. Madi played a uh, brown headed cowbird. Yep. So uh, just just to explain this. So Whoa. the brown headed cowbird has a once between turns. So between Madi's turns, this can trigger one time when another player takes the lay eggs action, which is the action in the middle in the um, in the not forest but grasslands, I guess. Uh, this bird will lay an egg on another bird that has a a, a circular nest. Gotcha. However, you don't have another bird with a circular nest yet, nope. so it won't be able to lay anything anywhere. So occasionally it will probably pop up and give you a trigger that you'll just have to pass because you don't have yeah. any way to resolve yeah. it. That's thematically so good for the cowbird because the cowbird trivia is cowbirds do not make nests. They lay their eggs in other birds' nests. Wow. Yeah. They're little thieving gremlins. There's some really good like mechanical tie-ins of like the individual birds here. It's really neat. Mm-hmm. Oh, look at that pelican. Gained three fish from the food supply. Dang. Um, did, but, uh, did each of you happen to know that the red-breasted Maganza was recorded flying 160 kilometers per hour, the fastest of any duck? I knew that. Give me a different one. Oh, give, man, give, me, cool. give me any other trivia give about the rare uh, bird facts. Maganza. <laughs> Could I have uh, any other trivia about that bird reps real quick? Sure. The red-breasted Maganza is uh, studying uh, to be an actuary at the moment, actually, at Monash University up in Melbourne. Nice. Oh, nice. Very nice. Yeah, Very they're good. in their third year, but they're taking, a, they're taking a little bit of a gap over the course of the pandemic. Of course. Because, like, you T -I -L. Yeah, exactly. Today I learned. All right. Uh, let's see. Okay. Turn done. You've drawn birds. One, they're drawn birds. I One drew bird. bird. <laughs> I do. Should not I just pull out my sketchbook and start drawing birds? Yeah. All right. Sure thing. Why not? Done. Uh, stream it. Oh, uh, uh, that's gonna be. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, that's gonna. <sighs> MS Paint. Uh, well, I. Oh shoot! I'd have to plug in my tablet. I'd be hot, hard. Oh. I don't know if I can stream it. <laughs> so someone took I... one of the birds uh. and did it re-roll the whole set. Uh, so I took two of the birds in the uh, in the draw pile, so it's re-rolled the birds that I'm missing, but it only re-rolls them after my turn is fully completed. Gotcha. It. Yeah. And at the end of the round, it will re-roll those birds entirely, too. The round ends in, what, like, uh, seven, seven moves? Is that what it says? Isn't that more, is that more than normal? No, it's eight. Uh, yeah, so. yeah. Yeah. So in se mm. it, after, after we've each done seven more actions, then... Uh, Raps will do six, everyone else seven more actions, then they'll that'll reroll as well. So we have seven more actions to do the objective in the upper right, which is play as many birds as possible. You can get gotcha. one point for every bird you play this round. Like these are randomly selected objectives in the upper right. We just happen to get a super nice, clean, easy one. Uh like you can see the second objective is amount of eggs laid on birds with that type of nest. So, so how do I activity. how do I draw a bird from the water tiles then? Uh, uh, so you go so down, you, you, click on the, you click on the tile in the left with the card uh, symbol, and that'll let gotcha. you draw a bird. I need, to, I need to draw a bird. Need to draw a bird? With arms? I need to draw a bird. Mm, no. Shame. Oh, shame. And then that ends my turn. A California condor. Oh. And a big bird. He, a little, he looks a little angry. I saw one of those last week. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. They're pretty. And he told you you have one more week to live? That's what he looks like. No. He, he's no, just flew by do. and had really pretty wings and then an ugly head because condors have really <laughs> ugly heads and I don't like it. 
The rest of them is real pretty, but then you get to the head and you're yeah. like, man, bird pattern baldness was not kind to your race. Oh my god, yeah. I mean, they look, like a they look, bird. They'd look so nasty if they did have feathers on their face with how they eat, though. Probably. <laughs> they just always be covered in bits no, of just... dead thing. I mean... Yeah. That's why I don't have hair on my face. <laughs> <laughs> don't want to get... <laughs> You know. So you're not vegetarian, you just surpassed regular meat Am I right, fellow cannibals? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, there's some people that advocate for a flavor saver, you know? Yeah. Okay, yeah, you don't so... want it when you're, you know. Go ahead, yeah. I don't want to So I chose to get food thing. from the bird feeder. Yes. And is that my only action? Because the other, yes. like the grasslands yes. and mm -hmm. stuff are grayed out. Correct. Yep. You, you'll be able to gain food, and since you don't have any birds in the forest, this, the action is the simplest version, which is just taking one food from the bird feeder. So. Gotcha. But if you, for example, like, I'll, if you've played two birds in the forest, basically your action is the leftmost like, symbol card that you can see. So if you cover those, those up with birds, basically, the leftmost one is the one that you'll do. So if you play two birds in the forest, you get to take two food from the feeder instead. You're kind of like leveling up the areas by playing by playing cards gotcha. there. More or less. Your actions become more efficient when you have more birds in the area. Yas. I drew my bird. <laughs> Any percent speed run wingspan. Get on my level, guys. Okay, done. Nice. I've drawn birds. I, I've drawn birds. It's my turn. I, who am I, who mm. am I looking at? I'm looking at Rito's. I misread your bird's name, and I was like, that's not wholesome. <laughs> uh, what, could, what could you have possibly uh, write out of that? <laughs> the kerning is very important on that name. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. These woodpeckers <laughs> seek out ground-dwelling insects rather than what you think. <laughs> Send my regards to Jonas. Rather than pecking wood. <laughs> you dirty bird. Hey. <laughs> A great crested flycatcher. But yeah, Mo Monty V, if you guys have questions, the first round it's it it's convoluted until it is seamless. He's telling the truth. I've gained food. Oh my god, I have no idea what I'm doing. Yeah. This is great. <laughs> Ge generally, yeah, like, that. you know, if you can play a bird, good. If you can't play a bird, figure out what you need to play a bird. Uh, it's probably food. Like, that's generally the thing. Gotcha. So what did, let's see, what did you do? You picked up the common loon because I have fishies, and I guess the dial is your choice. Yes, dial dial is wild. The little rainbow dial is wild. Yeah, so I assume I can place a common loon somewhere. Yeah. So if if it uh, where where can it be placed in the like in the upper left? Where does it say it can go? Is it only the wetlands, the the water area? The wetlands, yes. Okay, so yeah, so in order to play that, you would need, in addition to the cost in the upper left, you would need an egg. Because you see, if you go to the wetlands right now, you have the pelican, and then that second space, there's like a one little egg sitting above that square. You see that? Okay. That means you need, you also need an egg to put a bird there, in addition to what you would already pay. So, and the eggs uh, is the action you take in the yellow zone. Yep. And, and that's... So as complicated as it seems, there's only ever four things that you can do on any turn. There's only ever four things that you can do, and then everything resolves after that, basically. Uh, hail quail. Hail quail? Hail quail. Hail, hail quail and well met. Oh, oh boy. Body, have you seen California quails around where you live? Uh, yeah. Um... It's been a little bit because I don't live up in the mountains anymore, but we used to get them all over the place. They used to run along the top of my fence, and it was always so cute. Especially mm -hmm. when they had, you know, babies. On the fence? Yeah. Oh. Little fence babies. Well, <laughs> I was a fence baby. 
I. Oh. What kinds? Wrought iron? Uh, I'm Wouldn't a classic all American like white picket fence pig. Okay. Pin. Click to start to egg slade one. Are, are we talking like mid thigh or are we talking like full on privacy uh, fence? We're talking, I, you know, wait, a modest. Ma Madi, do you need help? Should we stop me? I was just I, gonna ask real wait. quick. It just gave me the prompt that. The, what? It was giving me so, the prompt of what the bird I played could already do, even though nobody laid an egg. So there wasn't. I laid reason. an egg. Oh, yeah. you did? I laid an egg. Okay, I but I couldn't. Egg, I can't do anything with it because I didn't have a second. I have to have the second bird down on the board. Yeah, because right? that bird does not right, have correct. egg spot. Gotcha. Correct. Oh, I, I didn't no. That is I'm sorry. Not, that is not the I food I was looking for. I should have waited to lay my eggs. How dare just, you? When you gotta lay eggs, you gotta lay eggs. You, you just know? get that urge, man. I get it. Oh, so these slots aren't shared? Correct. Oh. Everybody yeah, has their there's own There's no competition. No, comp no competition except for food in the feeder, and even that, it's like barely. Oh my god, look at all the Ooh. berries in the feeder, boys. Ooh, we got some berries okay. here. You get only berries. Oops, all berries. So apparently... <laughs> Uh, something I don't think has been mentioned yet, if you try and take, or if you try and interact with a bird feeder at all, and it's all one resource in there, or it's all one of the same die face, so it can be the split between, uh, between worms and wheat. If everything um, in the feeder is the same. Yes, if everything in the feeder is the same, you have the ability to just re-roll the entire feeder, including all of the dice that are outside of it, and then yeah. pull from the new pile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am... Okay with this. Yeah. So V, what you got? You got a question? Um, I need eggs. I ah, can't okay. place so, a common loom in the grasslands area to lay eggs. Correct. So what you well, can do, so if you go yeah. to the yellow area and you click the two oh, eggs there, you can lay them eggs. on your pelican. Yep. So one thing you I can lay them on your mention. Pelican. Every bird has different uh, biomes that they can be in. So your pelican, for example, can only be played in the water. And I'm assuming that's the same with the, with the loon, loon, that they'll have a little blue diamond above their cost. Right. So the yeah. reason why you can't play that's the loon to the grasslands is because it doesn't fit. But say the California condor can be played anywhere or the quail can be forest or grasslands. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. So when you were saying that the brown pelican can lay eggs, so go to the middle of the yellow zone and click the lay egg action. It's the two the two eggs with the little tab above it. So if you do that, and then you scroll down to your pelican and you click him twice and you'll lay two eggs. Okay. And then you have to lay eggs the, on birds. On the second and fourth uh, options for both water and forest, uh, what's the bonus card to dice or you, or means, bonus or egg to bonus card on the water yeah it means if you want you can trade an egg to draw an extra card so it's basically because they um, don't want to make it so it's like one bird is is draw one card two birds is draw two cards that's kind of like a half step it's draw a card and then if you feel like trading you can draw a second gotcha need help with those eggs well, no, I, I put them on the brown pelican. I was just seeing if I could do anything else oh, besides yeah. that. No, pretty pretty much just... The, the game's a lot of one turn until it gets to your next one. Like, a lot of times, especially near the end of the rounds, you'll get to the point where you feel like none of your turns are quite worth doing. Yep. But it it's important. You know, you, you got to take all the steps. And you're supposed to get the things on the backdrop of the squares once you play a bird on them? Or uh, no? No. No, you're just you're, upgrading you're... the area. Yeah. Gotcha. You think, get the thing by it. using the area. You can play a bird yeah. or activate an action. Not both. Yeah. Basically, yeah. Hey. Think about if you're playing a bird in the forest, you're upgrading the forest every ne every time you use it in the future. So. Gotcha. All right. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I like how the timer is at uh, 72 hours. Is that right? Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, that's right. So, so boys, don't dilly dally. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The clock. It ticking. also it 
did give me the little, you can just close this game between turns and Steam will notify you when it's your so turn again. We played this like two or know. three weeks ago and I've been, getting noti I've been getting notifications that I have a turn waiting and I'm very confused because uh -oh. it, it's a phantom game. And so I'm just hoping Whoa. I run out the clock and it just ends sometime in the next month. So it stops sending these <laughs> notifications to me. Yeah. But what if you're winning? Yeah. Uh, well, I'm probably not. Because I'm betting Rhapsody has actually been playing this Phantom game and is skunking both <laughs> Rito and I. Yeah. Well, it's like, yep, I, 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 uh, <laughs> I've just been like playing alone have... this entire time. I, I quit my sentence. Sorry. Two, two tries the charm. Ah. Your life sentence. What, what, what do you got? Again, again, it's barely competitive. If you if you have like strategic I play, questions, I play b bird power. That's usually a good call. Is playing bird. My bird trap. You've triggered you my bird. My, my bird, bird card. Ah. Oh no! But I can't activate the brown power until I played another bird, or what? So Probably. that's a. Uh, that activates every time you. So, where, what zone does it go in? That bird. The, the wetland. Yeah. So whenever you draw so, a card, it'll activate yeah. that power. Yeah. Oh. Okay. In the future. Yep. So you, if you have five birds that all have brown powers, as you said in the wetlands, every time you drew a card, all of those abilities would activate. Gotcha. Uh, just to be clear, in case we have not yet about this specifically, when you tuck things behind a card. That is just extra points for the extra of the game. So the oh, double-crested okay. cormorant says discard one, uh, you know, fish in order to get two VP, effectively. Did you know that cormorant colonies can be so dense that their guano kills the trees? I did. Wow. Could you tell me one other fact about the double-crested cormorant? Their guano is incredibly stinky. Don't taste their it. Their guano is incredibly stinky. And they've actually just learned to tap dance. Oh! On all of the dead trees that they pooped to death. <laughs> well, up until that point, I was I was keen on learning how to do that myself as well, but yeah. Let's see. When activated, players with the fewest water birds draw a card. Ooh. Who has the fewest water birds? Me. Also Wait, me. does that mean I help somebody? You both have zero. When you draw cards, it, it will help people, yeah. So maybe like it, strategically moving forward, maybe you play your birds in other zones so that maybe you'll tie. Uh, hmm. Tie with us for fewest amount of birds there. For Although example. it is worth noting that, uh, V, when you activate your draw in that area, you have the possibility of just denying the trigger of the common loon. That is true. You can you can choose for it to not happen. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Or you could be a good guy and give us cards. Yeah, you could just let us have it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just let us could have just it. Let us, could just let it happen. I could just have it. Uh... Okay. Oh, no. I didn't mean to change it. Okay. Oh, no. Yo, the double crested cormorant. I, they create colonies that can be so dense that their guano kills the trees. You bet. They, 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 they just poop the trees down. It's crazy. You've played in this savage. Yeah, it's interesting. Why would the birds want to do that? I well, I have a see. I I at least I, at least I hope they're not doing it on purpose. <laughs> I don't think there's a motivation together. behind it. <laughs> yeah. But there certainly isn't a motivation to stop. So <laughs> Also, yes. I yeah. can't do anything. Time to try to pull some well, there's only a fish in here. So you can uh, you can choose to have that re-rolled since there's only a fish. Mm -hmm. Oh, how do I do? So I you would try you have to declare your... the food action. Gotcha. Yes. Re re-roll? Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah. I figured thing out. Mm. There are mm. many moose, moose mouse, the other ones, yeah. the slightly there's smaller three, ones. There's more than one is is moose, I think. 
Three yeah. toss and a moose suit. Easy. Oh, okay. Mycin? Mycin? Man? In the wood is in them? <laughs> I've heard of, I've heard of this. I think Mycin men? Oh, yes. These are the Mycin, Mycin men. men. M. Bison? M. Bison? <laughs> M. Bison, the Mycin men. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> All right, oh, so no. now I have the mental image of M. Bison sitting in a nest that is too small for him, but too big for most birds. Thank you. Artists? Artists? You out there? Mm hmm I will, I will game press theory? a heart on any of the- Game theory? Game theory? Game theory? Mad Pat? Mad Pat. M. Bison? <laughs> I know you're M. watching. M. Bison is actually a bird. <laughs> M. Bison is actually a bird? As a kid, I was so confused. I was like, what does he have to do with Buffalo? I don't get it. Yeah. It took longer than I cared to I admit to realize he was a real, like, he was a character. Mm hmm That's mostly it, but M &M I was just Bison? very confused. I, I don't actually know. Wait. Oh, Is my God. Ma Major Bison? I man, Okay. This, man no, Bison. We, we're going to go down the list. Uh, uh, oh. Madi, what do you think it is? The original, I, I, the original M in M Bison. What does it stand for? Uh, I think he's it's Mike changed. Bison. Because You're right. Punch Out already <laughs> stole Mike the Bison. real one. Oh. Really? Oh. Wow. He was, Mike, yeah. he was Mike Bison, and he has been changed <laughs> to what? Wonder. What has he been changed to? From what? Mike Bison to what? Uh, major. They've... Close. V. No. Do you have it? What, what is M Bison? The M and M Bison stand for now. Do you have a Do you have a guess? I wanted to say like Mikhail or something. Something. I think he's Russian, right? It, I think so. I like it. It's better. It, it's more fun than the truth. Perhaps you got one. I'm gonna say Master. Yo! Yeah, I did not think that we were gonna get both M's and M Bison. Yes, he was. He was originally Mike Bison, but now he's Master <laughs> Bison. Wait, what? That makes way more sense. Yeah, I, I just tried to goof off of Mike Tyson. I know no. exactly, and that's what it was a reference I, to. It was a reference oh. to Mike Tyson, and then they changed it because it was a reference to Mike Tyson, and they just wanted uh, I guess legal. And the character was literally nothing like Mike Tyson. It's the farthest Not away from close. Mike Tyson. <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, nice. uh, what do we let's see here? Okay, birds. Okay, birds. Okay, birds. Okay, birds. You keep laying eggs, and I still can't do anything to 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 make my powers thing go. Words can't make the power power to birds things go. Um, what? I can't. Wait. Oh. Well, I guess I'm gonna lay. No, I don't want to lay eggs. How do I go back? I changed my mind. Marty can't I... benefit from it. I don't want to do it. I need. I need one more wheat. And I'll do something that benefits all of us. No. Oh? Yes, I I have oh. the I have the bird that gives everybody wheat when activated. I wish for us all mm. to have enough wheat for the winter months. I'm getting some <laughs> uh some additional deep lore oh. here. I'm being told that Balrog, right. Vega, and Bison all had name swaps from the Japanese version. Yes. Gotcha. Huh. So that's why Mike Bison has no sense being the bison we know. Yeah. Uh, gotcha. Wait, yeah, the original Vega became M. Bison. M. Bison became Balrog. Wow. Wait, wait Today <laughs> ITIO. Originally named Claw, then changed to Balrog, then to Vega. Okay. <laughs> I feel like Fair enough. They, I I know they have like Street Fighter comics and like TV shows and stuff. I kind of wish there was like a a scene like a non-canon scene where they're just yelling at each other of like who gets named what and they fight over it and then pecking order determines who gets the name. That would be a uh, a robot chicken sketch right there. That's yeah. what that would be. Yeah. Is robot chicken still a thing or did that like go away a long time ago? Last time I heard about it, it still was, and that was maybe three years. Okay. Yeah, shout out to anyone who still has cable television. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
I just Google, Googled robot chicken still going, question mark? I did the same thing, exactly the same phrasing too. <laughs> <laughs> no time for is. Uh, uh, I don't. Hmm. What do you got? What, what's? I guess I'm just eating more food. Yeah. yeah. I feel like someone needs to clean out this draw pile. I am tried. I took a fish so that somebody can reroll because they're the same thing. Thank you. Thank you. I, just, I need this one wheat, man. You did it. You hero. Mm. I, I you was did it. There waiting. Oh, no. I don't want no no mice. I didn't want them either. I don't want no mice bison. Yeah. When are we doing like a, like a community watch along of the Street Fighter movie? I would. Right I'd be now. Down. I mean. It's a notoriously bad movie. What? No, it was That's great. Cheap. The guy who's like Mike, uh, Mike Bison. <laughs> yeah. I, can't, I can't not do that now. The guy, the guy that was playing him was just like absolutely hamming it up in the best possible way. The rest of the movie is unmentionable, True. but like that guy is crazy good. Well, that's the, the famous like the the day that M Bison graced your village was yeah the, the turning point in your life. But for me, it was Tuesday, which was is the most important day of your life. Yes, exactly. Good stuff. I've never actually seen the full movie. Just a bunch of clips of people like, oh my god, just watch this man. Yeah. So when it says two cubes, that means I have two turns left, including right. this one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Uh oh. Yes. Sir. So that means I don't actually. Hmm. This well, in bad. this in this quadrant. In this. Although it's worth noting that every single uh, one of the rounds, we're gonna have one fewer cubes. It's gonna get shorter. Wow. Okay. So yeah, there's. Oh wait, what was the thing? Oh, that's right. There, there's that little way to look at the board cleaner. Uh, where is it? The bottom left. Where are we going here? I'm a little jealous of people with worms right now. <laughs> I wish we could barter. <laughs> yeah. What oh, game yeah, is that? Uh, let's see what. They Catan has a lot of bars. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Yeah. 12 sheep for three bricks, please. Chock a block full of sheep, but I can't build a house, so I live in a pile of sheep. Why not? Nice and warm. I feel like we had a bad experience with Catan. We walked into a, um, like a, a house party, essentially. Uh, housewarming, something like that. And they had board games, so, you know, it was a great time. And they, like, six people were playing Catan. And I think you can have, I don't know how many people in Catan, but a lot. And they basically, like, pushed us onto the table. You gotta play <laughs> Catan with us. Like, oh muscled us into Catan, basically. Never played the game before. Everyone's Oof. an expert at the game. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I still don't know how to play it to this did day. You ever, did it's any of you ever play the game Mal, out. where it was like all the rules no. are kind of made up as you go along or no? Now? So it's like a card game. I, play, where I make up all the rules to every game I play. It's so a card know. game where you're not allowed to know what the rules are. You can't tell other people the rules. And if you do, you have to draw cards. And if you break a rule, you have to draw cards. And you're trying to play cards down to, you know, zero. And every person that wins gets to make a new rule. Uh, oh, which... it kind of it reminds me of that game that, uh, was it Flux? Yeah. Oh my God, yeah, Flux. It reminds, of, it reminds me of that. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like Flux, but absolutely hostile to new players, uh, which is kind of the issue with it. On purpose. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, on it sounds purpose. like it's designed around gatekeeping. Yeah, it's pretty like, much. And that's like what if that's they rewarded what it was. gatekeeping exclusively? <laughs> And, and so oh boy. I, I, I got pulled on after like people had played for two months and I just like had my sketchbook. So I just started writing on the, down the rules and then I just started winning relentlessly because nobody else could remember. Um, <laughs> but everybody after that point that that joined was just absolutely miserable because no one knew what the rules were except for me. Yeah, that and seems it was, like inherently designed to cause fights. 
it would be really fun to play with a group of people that start from like square one and then work you know work their way up how with does no the new first people. person learn the rules i i i'd have to look it up but i think there's like basic <laughs> they, rules it's gotta to be, be like bs or something <laughs> They had to be told from their their parents. And they're like, the only it's all hearsay. There's no rule rule manual. One person knows because his grandpa made the game, and everyone else <laughs> is just it's just hearsay. Oh, oh my goodness. I think Flux is on tabletop sim. Yeah, I'm sure it is. I like Flux, I but it's one of those games that can, like, if you're really unlucky, you can just go for, like, two hours and be like, why are we still here? Mm. How did this happen? Is this our final, this is our final action for this turn, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Yes. For the, or for this round, rather. I don't know what that means. So what, mean what exactly happens between the rounds? Uh, so, so the order shuffles the open face cards... Uh, get wipes, and it's a new set, and that's it, pretty much. Oh, right, and, and the, your objective, the objective changes. in the upper right goes from the total oh. birds to eggs on birds that have that type of a nest. Is in the upper right. The tree, whatever the tree, tree hole nests. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know what I'm doing. Let's go. Uh, wait, oh, no, oh. thought I was laying an egg. Pay, spend, go, there we go. All right. Did you bird up? I birded up. Sweet. Um. All right, so everybody gets three, three bonus points for that round, uh, except Mocking Ply, who gets two bonus points for that round. <gasps> no. Which, in the grand scheme of the game, will probably matter not at all. Because every bird, you can see, like, how many points they're worth on their face. You can see that that's, like, one point is not that big of a difference. Okay. So, yeah, each each bird, like, V has, let's see. Uh, you know, like, the brown pelican's worth four points, the loon's worth six, the, the merganz is worth five. So you've got, you've got 15 points just right there, so one point in the grand scheme of things isn't that big of a deal. And now we're going into the next round. Correct. Mm -hmm. So the, the face-up birds in the wetlands re-rolled. Our objective is different. You can see what it is in the upper right now. Uh, turn order is different. And yep, and turn order is very slightly mm -hmm. different. Just pushed over to the to the left. I played a crossbill. Crossbill? Yep. Let me see him. Do you know any facts about the crossbill, Marty? I I know at least one fact about the crossbill. <laughs> These birds use their specialized bills to pry apart conifer seed cones. Aww. Mm -hmm. They also go rah, 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 with their mouth, and it's cute. And they that. do. Aww. Oh, so you're the bird watcher. Are you a competitive bird watcher, Retro? Ooh. I would love to be. I would love to be. I, I, there's this app. I think I think I talked about it when we we played Wander and Raps. But there's like this app that you can get on your phone where you just take a picture of a bird and it tells you what it is. And I've been collecting photos, identifying the birds that come to my backyard like Pokemon, and it's great. You know what I think is actually kind of cool is um, on on Reddit. Imagine something being cool on Reddit. The sites where people post animals or bugs or leaves or plants just to have other people identify it. Yeah, like the tip of my tongue style stuff. Yeah. yeah. I'm not saying that the app is like a somewhat better or worse version. It's just the idea that that stuff is out there for people. It's like really cool. Yeah. I don't, yeah, I just, I just like it. It's like it, gave, it, gave me, it gives me the feeling of like a real life Pokemon Go vibe. You know, like it's like, hey, come on, snap. Yeah, Easy. that's true. That's actually closer. You know what? <laughs> well, we you just left out the part where you were also collecting them to battle a local gym of other birds. Yeah, I do actually yeah. capture them and make them fight my neighbor's <laughs> birds. Uh, mm -hmm. I have been reported to the police. <laughs> but their birds aren't strong enough. <laughs> their birds are pretty weak, so I'm <laughs> fine. <laughs> Easy. 
I power leveled. <laughs> power and level two birds. Rare, rare candy. <laughs> I'm not missing. What did you lace your hummingbird feeder with? Yeah, uh, what is it? I just, I guess, just pro protein was the other ones. I got them some PP up. Baltimore Orioles. The entire team. Oh. <laughs> you play the card, the bird, and it just like unfolds into a bunch that, of dudes. It'd be like it's a, a paid, uh, mm. pay to win skin pack. <laughs> so the the stars count as any wild type yes. of nest. Okay. Yeah. Correct. Yes. The, those are wild birds. They, they're big good. Yeah, they're good. Yeah. Wild. They birds. uh they get up to some real wild bird. real impressive stuff on the weekends. Yeah, they weave pouch nests that hang from a tree branch. Wow. Oof. That's so, pretty cool. It's pretty okay. cool. I'm gonna... You know what? No, let's start the first round of giving everybody one wheat from the supply. Let's, wow. Let's grab... Wow. Let's grab a... Let's grab a berry. And I don't have any extra cards to pull a second food, right? Gotcha. Oh, wait. But I could discard. Eh, no. Yeah. We're just going to do that. And it activates, and all players gained one thing. Thank you. Thank and you. It's from the supply, so it doesn't need to be in the bird feeder. So yeah. thank mm -hmm. you. I They give you a check mark on that box, um, but clicking it does nothing. I think it's because it's like it's saying it's active. If you can, you can only uncheck right. it to say that you don't want that to happen. Like, you know, yes. you can no, choose they, to have not everybody do it, which it appears True. like you did. I know I did. But the thing is, there's there's an X and a check mark, and just hitting the ah. check mark doesn't do it. I have to just hit the yeah, this effect is OK. Oh, right yeah, you, you either do the no and then the effect is okay or the check mark and the effect is okay. Gotcha. You pick so I can one choose and then whether say, or not it activates yes. then, huh? So you chose not to feed us all. <laughs> no, I chose to feed you all. Everybody got one on my side. I didn't gain no food. Oh, maybe you'll food. just show no, no, you get it on your turn, Rito. Oh, you get it on my turn. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was, yeah. I was, I was, so I have, I, please feed me worm. I have a hooded no, no. merganser that repeats one skull poison symbol power yeah. in this habitat. What, yes. What's a skull? So you need like a condor or a like, uh, like a hawk like a... or an eagle or something to eat yeah. another bird. If you don't have one of those powers, then it's... Kill build. Yeah, not that useful for you. Yeah. Interesting. It, there, like, there'll be a card. It'll it'll say exactly. Like, it'll have the skull and crossbone symbol on it gotcha. and it'll say that it will do something so and do you only get one activation for the bird i i have the loon which you know whoever has the fewest water can draw one but i haven't seen the chance to do that in a few turns i will say that you have done it because i, did. I got to draw a card <laughs> so yes mm. yeah you might not have seen the positive effect of it because you might just have more birds in that area yeah than other like that, that it, it happens every time that you every time you draw a card all of those things in the blue area effect uh will happen but they, they won't help you right now based off of those ones the ones that you have out because you can you deny think, the trigger as well to be clear you're saying that the common loons effect has been activating the whole time not just the one time that i saw it no you it activated the one time the one time i think i've only drawn once from it I think. Sure. Uh, oh boy. No one better get my snowy egret. No, don't worry. Are we okay. going to have a problem? I'm taking the Oreo, though. I'm taking the um, one Oreo. I will not touch your snowy egret. An American coot. <laughs> uh, Stop talking bad about my grandpa. <laughs> I was about to say it almost looked like I was wearing a little pair of glasses, but it's actually a smug smudge on my uh, monitor. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> do you guys routinely comes clean with your monitors, oh, or wait. do you just wait until it gets like kind of annoying? No, I I wait until I can tell. Because I know Rhapsody is is still cleaning. He's but... still cleaning to this day. To this day. 
You're not allowed to stop. No. They pull payment. Yeah, if I stop, they take the money back. <laughs> I... Do they... I, I assume that was a one-and-done contract? Yeah, that was a one-and-done. Well, okay. I mean, you know, uh, I may have an ongoing relationship at some point, but, you know, the, the whole COVID thing has kind of killed that. Messed it up. That's very fair. No. I was just going to say, like, if if they somehow ask you to do another one, you should insist, please have me clean for this one, too. Just have it be <laughs> like a, a running in joke between every bit of advertising with yeah. uh, with you as part of it. Yeah, if you're ever going to do that, th th this is the the Raps Advertising Cinematic Universe, the RACU. Exactly. Uh, if I ever oh. appear on film doing something like that, I need to put down my newly cleaned keyboard before I engage in whatever the action happens to be. <laughs> it could be, it could be, you know, like a, uh, it could be an end of the world 2012 kind of style John Cusack drama, kind of like thriller drama kind of situation like that, and I will have to begin by putting down the keyboard. Doesn't matter what it is. Respect it. Hmm. Hmm. Forster Scurrius, very curious. Forster's turn. Yes. The Forster's. I kind of do want to turn. It's Forster's like somebody trying to say Worcestershire sauce. It's some Forster Stern sauce. It's Forster Stern. Can you pass me some of that Forster Stern sauce? <laughs> <laughs> so, I... V, you might I sympathize guess. with this one, but there's a town in Massachusetts called Worcester, but it's kind of spelled <laughs> out like Horchester. It is, and, yep. And so we, we would often drive through that on the way to pretty much anywhere that wasn't, you know, Boston. And we'd be like, oh man, we're going through Horchester. I wonder what's here. And then we'd leave. Because we would never <laughs> stick around. I'm sure it's fine, but the name was kind of unfortunate. Is it actually supposed to be pronounced Chester? Or is it like no, English it's Worcester. Cities where it's... It's just yeah, Worcester. Okay. So, gotcha. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of those on the West Coast that are just... I mean, there's Weed, Oregon. Yeah. And they ham it up super hard. Literally every store you go into will have a small section of like shirts and shot glasses that say, haha, I went to weed. And that's like the entire thing. It's like, I, I don't know. There's not much else there, I guess. <laughs> There's so much merch there, though. Yeah, seriously. Like like when you go we to went Salem. into a diner. Yeah, just like a random diner that we went into while driving through there. And they just had like a little wall of merch you could buy. That just had weed in big letters and then Oregon in small letters underneath. Oh. <laughs> Literally, that's that's how they've decided to merchandise their town. I mean, hey, it's, you know, they mm -hmm. it's a living. Oh. Hey, guys, guys, mm. yeah? Google American what? coot feet. They're really I, weird. Wonder, I'm please. not going to do it. You know, I have so many lists. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't think Turn that's... safe search on, then search American coot feet. I can <laughs> I'm going to throw I... the word bird in there just so I don't get recommended some terrible stuff. Oh, no. For the next week. Are they okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they look like they have uh, like nine clams. Biting their uh, toes. Uh, what the heck forever? Is that? Are they okay? All right. Well, uh, Gary, that's horror material. Uh, oh shoot! I don't like it. I must egg. And then that while you're in uh, while you're in Google search and uh, keep safe search on search Andy and Cock of the Rock. It's also a bird. <laughs> mm, and blue footed booby. <laughs> <laughs> We, mm -hmm. I, I've got somebody in my chat that's a biologist that is uh, pretty into birds and was talking about the feet and said they're a really nice blue color. But really, the question is, wh how did they end what? up with those feet? Yeah. It's like I think to they made walk a on top of marshland, maybe? Yeah. It's yeah. like they replaced their toes with seaweed. And it just maybe worked out. So small fish go for it because it looks like you know a small crab or something and then it's free food oh. for the bird 
So Give I've been, me Swift. Sorry. I, I've been hiking for the past week and a half because my parents were here. And we ran across so many bird people. It was really interesting. Like, you could tell because they had the cameras, the binoculars, and they were, like, ready to go identifying birds and, like, seeing, you know, what the birds were up to. Mm. And, frankly, the birds were actually uh, kind of cool. What was... Was it an osprey? Yeah, it was an osprey. Ooh. We saw two baby osprey learning how to fly. Uh, and when I say saw, sure. I mean we heard because they were panicking audibly the entire time. It was really funny oh. to listen to these these you know baby osprey. I'd say just out of the nest, they're pretty big, but like they you could tell like you know when a bird flaps, it flaps like a couple times and then it coasts for a while and you know maybe goes up or whatever. These things were in just turbo flap mode because you know falling is scary. And then yeah. by the end of the day, they weren't they weren't screaming anymore. It was kind of nice actually. Yeah. And for the record, pretty good feet. I googled it. Osprey feet? Yeah, osprey feet. They're 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 not bad. I looked on wing, wingy feet. Oh yeah. I mean, definitely, <laughs> definitely would not want to be scrambled. scratched by one of those. Let's go. But like, it's just, it's just gonna softball it in there like that halfway through a sentence, huh? <laughs> oh man. You're not gonna prepare me for a punchline like that. You're not gonna, not gonna tell me. You're not gonna warn me. All right. Oh, it's good. I'm That's gonna, good. I'm gonna play a bird. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I didn't have any uh, coffee in my mouth at the time, so I don't have to clean my keyboard again. Yeah, again. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Wait. Apparently, pigeons as we know them are domestic and also feral, the bird equivalent of stray cat colonies. That makes I sense. I believe that. Yeah. That, that's both something I didn't know but already knew, you know? Like, in my heart, it's true. Like, I've, I've been to enough Taco John's parking lots filled with seagulls <laughs> to know that this is true. <laughs> Oh, no, <laughs> <laughs> oh. Now, here's the question. Fed... Do the Taco John's tacos taste like sadness? No, they're fine. Okay. They, they, you go. You don't go to Taco John's for the tacos. You go for the potato olays. Oh, and sorry. Then you go, you and then you go... <laughs> Tacos John. <laughs> no. <laughs> you, go, you go to the Taco John's for the potato olays, and then you go for the the seagulls in the parking lot that are really friendly but then jump on your car and then they look in your window they open their mouth and you see him down their throat and it's terrifying i wouldn't know like they uh they're frightening hypothetically hypothetical speaking i appear to have played uh, like a lawyer or banking firm where are you <laughs> sand hill and crane mm-hmm They can live for bird. decades and mate for life. That sounds like a like a dating profile. That for like <laughs> maybe I life. can live for decades. It's like a vampire dating profile. <laughs> <laughs> no, no hunters are onto me yet. I'm good. Oh, easy. Oh my God! Speed ran. Let's go. I'm going, Ooh, any percent. Speed I'm going for the any percent. We, I don't have to win. I just have to go fast. You just have <laughs> the purple Martin. Purple Martin. I'm just. Oh. I'm too busy staring at birds to actually know what I'm doing in this game. But I'm it's enjoying okay. it none, nonetheless. That's I love of, the it's chimney just, swift. It just looks like a cigar with it eventually wings. Ends. It does. Wait. It does eventually end? Yeah. Oh yeah. Just like life. Bunch of birds. Hmm. Eventually, it's over. Is, but is you become a bird. Exactly after. like life, yeah. I maybe depends. Mm -hmm. I love to be a bird. You know what? I'm you gonna take be... the cigar bird. I think. You gotta be careful though, because what Wait, we learned from two? animorphs is oh. that if you turn into the bird <laughs> for over 24 hours, you are stuck as a bird for the rest of your it's life. It's okay. I will just go I... to my local tacos, John, and I now... will have food for life. V, this prompts the question. If you had to, 
be in an animorph's form for more than yes. 24 hours, which is to say to become an animal. <laughs> yeah, this is a fancy way of just asking what animal do you want to be? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but you were, but but I guess I guess it's important to it's important because in animorphs don't they retain do they they retain their human knowledge right? Yes. Even after the twenty four hours. Doesn't that dissipate I think over time though? Yeah, it's supposed to slowly slowly turn okay. them more animalist. Well, yeah, until if they're you like, had cold, to cold. stick in an animal's body, and right at the twenty four hour mark, while you still have your human knowledge, which. Which which animal would you like to be stuck in, V? The like I want to say a mountain lion or something, but then I don't know if like because you watch the planet Earth and stuff like that. It's like this mountain lion has missed its prey and it won't eat for another two months or something like uh -huh. that. Oh, I, I want <laughs> to be a plump mountain lion <laughs> with lots of sheep. And things to eat from. Yeah. By the way, how yeah. do I activate my animal's power? So you use the corresponding thing. So So yeah, to activate your things in the wetlands, you have to draw a card. Yeah. If draw you draw a card, bird. they activate all from right to left. Hmm. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I, I I go for Raven. I feel like that would be fun. I that's plus they're really very fun. smart. Yeah, I mm -hmm. I'm mostly ravens thinking I could convince other ravens to do weird things with me and confuse scientists for a while. You know, start using oh, swords, nice. like start oh. sword fighting. It's a tool. Like, Why not? Yeah, yeah. You just rob mm -hmm. a toy store, steal like little plastic what? swords that we're capable of picking up. You know, meant for like two year olds okay. or something. And then we just start sword fighting everywhere, and scientists are like, oh no, they're learning. God. They've hit the Middle Ages. Oh <laughs> it turns out that Redwall was a science documentary all along. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> They've hit the Middle Ages. Oh no. Oh, is Next it my turn? make little raven catapults. Wait, what? It is your turn, yeah. Okay, I'm confused. It's saying choose a card, cards left. Oh, are we just, I see, we're just drawing a card. I think that, V activated his ability. Yeah, that just snuck up on me. Oh, nice. Yeah, oh. I was feeling kind of nice. Stacked! Now. Oh my god. Mm. I, kind of bald I have five birds in there. There we go. Because I, no I was the next left. player and I was trying to figure out why it was locking me so hard. And I was like, what is going on? Uh, How do finished. I tap for mana? <laughs> Valid. I guess tapping for mana is tapping the gain food button, I guess, right? Unfortunately, yours is extremely mm -hmm. inefficient right now with nothing played there. That's true. Ooh, that's a cool bird. But, oh, I can play it. I didn't. It's like, why is that glowing? Oh. Hmm. Hmm. He painted white start. Did it start white, but it got painted? Or is oh. it painted and now it's starting to whiten? Who's That's painting birds? The real question. Is that like, the. I'm still stuck on the drawing bird easiest, phase. I think. <laughs> uh, hmm. I mean, on the the procreate and stuff like that, you're using a brush, so isn't it counted as painting? I mean, I was using a pen. Um, I haven't actually drawn on my iPad in a while. I should probably do it again. I haven't drawn on your iPad either. Yeah, well, I can bring it over at some point. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Rito, I thought you were speedrunning. <laughs> I I did see while you this is funny haha I did make three turns and change my mind on all three of them so I kind of made three turns in the time that you guys have been taking one so I guess I kind of am going fast still even though I'm going very slow. He oh, done laid an egg. I laid eggs. Four eggs. It takes oh. a lot of time to lay four eggs. So that's how that do. You don't want to rush it. 
Yeah, I don't mm. have any of those. Too bad. Wait. I'm so... Oh, we have two more turns after this. Whoops. Uh oh. We'll probably have to. Um, should we do, like call it at three? Or something, or well, I guess we'll just see how it goes. No, I mean, no, the rounds become shorter. False, though. That is yeah. true. If we as all, long as we just stop down. thinking for the last two rounds, we'll oh, have you... plenty of time. Yeah. <laughs> I am so. Stop far using of your you. brains. Everyone, use your bird brain. Yeah. Think hard, faster, not not Better. slow. Faster. Good, good start. <laughs> What <laughs> happened? <laughs> Lady Egg, do it. Lady Egg, do it. Um. Hmm. I could try to just feed everybody all of the resources by taking the the black chinned hummingbird. Over is overflow. We'll get a full belly. Belly. Full belly. You have a baby. Get in my belly. What are we doing? I blacked out there I for don't a know. second. You're the, you're, it's your turn. <laughs> it's your, your uh, strange, strange man. Um, I'm Make birds happy. Bird happy. Bird happy. Don't I worry. choose no and okay. no. Yes, I want to skip this power. Which power? What What are you stealing from us? What are you I'm taking away from so us? So many birds right now. I'm I'm now. Taking nothing. Okay, so the biologist in my chat has dropped probably the most metal bird. Oh. Loggerhead shrikes are also called butcher birds. Uh, it's because while there's also songbirds and not very uh, okay. I'm just gonna read the thing. Uh, never mind. It's my turn. All right, give me a second. Must egg. I need to catch one of these bir murder birds, I think. Alright. Laying egg. Okay, there we go. While they are also- while they are songbirds, they're also predators. They do not have the feet or strength of bill to be able to kill their prey, so after they catch it, they impale it on sharp thorns or barbed wire fences to wait until it dies. Yeah! They also tend to have about seven babies at a time, and they don't <laughs> fledge until, like, pretty late, so they have, like, really full nests. But it's mostly the sticking prey on barbed wire and waiting for it yeah. to die is just like sticking cripes. Yeah. Let me stick so fellow birds do? on barbed wires right around my 19 children. Yeah. Don't what cry, did they Johnny. Or their barbed wire. <laughs> oh thorns. <laughs> oh, just a thorn patch. Yeah. And there's some spiky plants. <laughs> they specifically. When the when barbed barb wire dropped, they lost their minds. They're so psyched. <laughs> <laughs> they just got the global alert. Barbed wire has been invented, and they just went ape. Yeah, yeah they're like, "Hey, Crow, uh, uh, yeah, Carol Murderbird, did you hear about the new the new hotness? Barbed wires. You're still using thorns. Well, what <laughs> went to <be> this?" <laughs> Okay. Oh my God. New question. If you could upgrade birds, how would you upgrade <laughs> birds? Hmm. Third wing. Third wing. <laughs> uh, Third wing, it sticks straight out of the stomach and they use it when they want to rotate in the air, do a barrel roll. Okay. Mm. Uh, first thought, best thought. Fourth wing? <laughs> God damn it! No! <laughs> you, <know. laughs> you can't counterpick me like that! No! One of it comes out of the stomach, and then one goes on the back so they can uh, barrel roll full cherubim. I got faster. it. No! They're gonna be so good at barrel rolling! No! Reno! It's a good thing there's nothing that could possibly one up a fourth wing. Recursive wings. <laughs> Every Fractal feather wings. is just another Nando wing. Wings. <laughs> Every feather is just another wing, flapping. Replete with its own feathers, which themselves are wings. Yeah. Oh my god. There are no feathers, it's just all wings all the way down. Ooh. Uh, Wi-Fi. 
<laughs> oh, that would actually. I'll be down with that. <laughs> yeah. 5G birds. It had to be an upgrade room. for the birds. <laughs> free free wi aren't real. What are you talking about? I didn't, I didn't see one. I played an American coot in my wetlands. Okay, that's. That's pretty neat. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds really dirty. What'd you do? <laughs> uh, Who are you, the, the the founder of Florida? <laughs> yes. Uh, let's see here. Max five. What's oh. the difference between in the upper right that for the the nest? There's eggs in that nest, and then there is. Yeah, it's forest. Okay. It's nest with eggs. So it's number of so birds. It's not actually like oh, the amount of eggs, gosh, it's the oh, amount of birds that fulfill that requirement. Sexy. Yes. Wow, so you I can't just have one egg laden like bird, you have to have a lot of those birds. Oh, yeah. that ain't happening. That's where I'm at. Well, <laughs> it'll be hard for everybody, so. Yeah. That's fine. Just, uh, as long as everyone's suffering. Yep. Um, I'm happy. That's how you play the bird game, I think. Yeah. Exactly. I, I think that this game is meant to be grading and the least relaxing thing possible. Uh, oh, I think that's the plan. Lay the egg. Oh, well. Oh, what nice. We did it. We did it. Good job, Fee. You and I are in this together. You got this. Pew. My boys. Wait. My bird. What? Wasn't it? Around. But okay, so it skips my bird turn. Uh, uh, so no, it wasn't your you turn. Just... It was just to get the egg at like yeah, at the yeah, end yeah. of the round. Gotcha. All right. Yeah. Bird time speed run. Okay. Go. Bird time. Bird brain speed run. Yeah. Don't think. Just bird. So yeah, we do. <laughs> we do have one less action. <laughs> Return to bird. It's making me do stuff. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. That's oh, that's okay. If you have to do stuff, you have to do stuff. Yeah, we're not gonna hold hold it against you. No. Oh my god, you got a stacked wetlands there, V. Yeah, if I activate a power, we apparently get 15 turns in a row. Yes. <laughs> Pretty much. You draw a card, you draw 20. You got that, uh, trying to channel some pot of greed. Okay, so, Action. so, uh, Madi, Madi and V, I, I heard from the other boys how they'd upgrade birds. How would you guys upgrade birds? <laughs> New bird just dropped, what you got? Yeah. Missile pods. Okay. Ooh. Easy. Sure. Easy. Like small missiles They're or always like Relative to dangerous. the size of the bird. Okay. Oh, yeah. I... I'm thinking more eyes. So like, <laughs> how many? Not, just like another two. Okay. Okay, but now are we talking traditional placement or are they elsewhere? They are on like the top of the head. Cause you know, birds have like turned uh -huh. their head to see you with the mm. one eye. That's like unfair. So you put the two on top, then they don't have to do that anymore. Yeah, that'll really balance birds out in the meta, I think. I know. What about just uh, really buff arms with opposable thumbs? Yeah. <laughs> Raps, have you not seen birds with arms? I, mean, <laughs> I, I have, but I just wasn't prepared to think about it. It's good. It's good. <laughs> uh, that's surprising that because right. I'm always thinking about birds with arms. I changed mine to ability to recognize when something is a window. Oh, uh, well, and not just and not just more air. I I think V's V's more eyes would give them the depth and foresight, so? literal foresight, future sight even to know. Oh, okay. Gosh, that would be really wait, weird. Wait, how many eyes did V add? How many eyes? It's two, but they're on the top. So I mean, oh, honestly, uh, you could okay. three, three more eyes. Then. If you really uh, want three more eyes, then. Ooh, but I think that's going to lose out to having three wings. Uh, yeah. So three more three eyes and four wings, wings with eyes on them. 
three eyes with wings oh. in them. God damn it, there's three, not three wings with eyes and three eyes with wings. God damn it. He found the combo. Yep. Uh, also, even more buff. Uh, also, one more arm. Also, force fields. Is that the. the is that, have <laughs> I fully just tapped out? Smash through your window because they got force fields. <laughs> <laughs> have I fully tapped out the, the playground plus one meta yet? Have I done it? Yeah, exactly. Infinity plus. Have I done it? Sorry, I thought Wait, I was, you all gave uh, me so much stuff up. just now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Upgrade for birds explode on death. Who is this helping? <laughs> <laughs> what, is, what is this? <laughs> I think we need to. Re I think we need to say what an upgrade is. That came from my chat. Uh, explode on death. I mean, if. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but like, how them. concussive is this? Do they just like go in, uh, go up in a <laughs> puff of feathers, or is it like, <laughs> or is it like actually radius. dangerous? Oh dear! They, they use them to clear mines. You heard the you heard the term canary in a coal mine. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's why um, <laughs> now it's canary makes a coal mine. That's actually why seagulls fly out to sea to die, uh, it's so that they're uh, not near the uh, the the coasts. Areas where people exactly. still are. Yeah, it's just for safety. Can't confirm. Can't confirm the seagulls don't explode when they die. I remember there was uh, something that a lot, a lot of people used to say when I was in primary school, which was if birds ate any rice or grain, they would just explode. Yeah, yeah it's true. That's not true, right? Uh, it's no. True. No. no. I'm pretty sure it's not. Yeah, the, probably the not is big, true. What would we think of anyway? Most most birds don't have a way to get rid of like excess gas and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Um, which is why like a super incredibly horrible thing to do would uh would be there were people that would like flick mentos up into the sky for uh seagulls or not. Not Mentos, uh, Alka-Seltzer <laughs> tablets. That's what it was. Sorry, my brain okay. got confused with making bottle bombs. Making a making uh, a viral yeah. YouTube video <laughs> was, in 2000. Uh, but no, like, that that was like a, that was a thing that terrible people would do to try to mess with seagull populations because they would eat like the Alka-Seltzer tablet and they would basically just it would rupture their stomach. That's oh, horrifying. Yeah. No, it's yeah, it's, it's not it's not true. I think it's just a like very yeah. The rice thing, I'm pretty sure, is not true because no, yeah, rice yeah, yeah, doesn't yeah, yeah, expand yeah. that much. No, I mean, yeah. it's just realistically, bad. as a whole, we, just the amount of plastic we've thrown out has effectively yeah. done that with most of these birds. <laughs> it's true. So that's way mm. less funny to other think about. ways. Mm. We don't need Elka seltzer. We just need uh, plastic wrap. It's true. Oh, Chip boy. bags. Yeah, I'm good enough at killing birds without that. <laughs> Accidentally. Yeah, okay. I was gonna say, I have a slot for you on my bird training team. <laughs> I'm trying to get, I'm trying to be, beat the elite for uh, just some some people who hang around the Taco John's. The Taco, sorry, Taco's John. Mm -hmm. I Thank you. In my neighborhood. The elite four. The passers by just, near the Taco's John. The, the passers by near the Taco's John with their birds strong. And their badge is many. I do like I'm the upgradeability of cup holders. I do like that one. I'm sorry, I don't know if we've covered this already. Is Tacos John a real thing? Or is <laughs> no. are you maybe? <laughs> no, I said Taco John's and I heard rap say the Tacos John. And I mm -hmm. just thought it was funny. <laughs> wait, Taco uh, John's is an actual thing? Yeah, wait, I'm surprised. Wait, I'm surprised you don't know. It's in Minnesota for sure. So, I, I just, they, when did they start? Uh, no, 1969. So, my family like does did not believe in fast food other than burgers for like ages. And yeah. so like tacos? What's that? We can make those. Yeah. Well, I'm not I mean, yeah. Again, you don't go to Tacos John for the tacos. They have uh they have like little deep fried hash brown circles and you feed you go them for to the, the family. Gotcha. You go for the fam You go for John. You do it for him. <laughs> He's John's trying to expand lonely. outside of Minnesota so that my jokes land. Please. <laughs> I, 
I need my joke to have wide my mainstream appeal. Please, John. <laughs> Just put out a video called, like, How to Understand Minnesotan Humor. Oh, my God. Those, yeah, those <laughs> exist all over. But it's Don't just you know. all wrong information. Yeah. Don't you know the website's uh, right with it? A? I don't know. A? 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 Somebody was A? drawing birds. Wow. What if I'm just holding the most birds at the end of the game? Do I get bonus points? So there is a bonus card There's that card actually does there. give you, yeah, points for birds uh, held in hand at the end of the game, but uh, unless you have I it. don't have that. <laughs> there are, uh, there are birds egg, that let you draw new ones. Each egg at the end of the game will give you one victory point. Yep, that is true. So yeah, it's just resources Gremlin more. To the, to the very end, and it actually works out really well. Mm -hmm. Egg gremlin to the grave. Yeah. Gotcha. I see what I need to do, but I don't know if I have the turns to accomplish it. But I don't know. Yeah, and turn to... zero, I think, does count as a turn. Which is kind of yeah. weird. Okay, so Rising Bread does not call, uh, cause birds to explode, but it does cause crop compaction if they eat enough of it. This can cause them to not be able to eat anything else and not digest their food, resulting in food de decomposing in their crop can lead to death. Wow, that's sad. Yeah, See, don't it feed doesn't kill them, bread. it just makes it so they can't ever eat food again, so they die. Yeah. Oh, they didn't die from the okay. bread, they died from starvation. It's not murder, it's, late, it's later murder. <laughs> <laughs> it's not murder, it's future murder. It's fine. Statute of limitations is up on birds. I think. See, why don't we have cool things like crops? Returns left. Um. <laughs> <laughs> we have like just a two, basically. It's true. That was that was a <laughs> bird. Let's see here. What? Okay. See, that's uh... why you got to be the bird. Being a human is uh, there's nothing to it. Yeah. What is bird digestion like? Google. It's very similar to human intestines. Okay. Is this helpful? Yes. Thank you, Google. But where do the rocks go in? <laughs> where, <laughs> I don't on, think I we new, do that I have part. a new Google. Where do the rocks go in birds? <laughs> in the crop. It's it, they go. It goes in the gizzard. Oh, okay. Many birds swallow sharp pebbles and grit and hold those rocks in a muscular part of their stomachs called the gizzard. The gizzard mm -hmm. contracts and grinds the gastroliths against each other and against the food that the birds <laughs> that the bird has swallowed. Remember that birds have to swallow each bite whole. I just got an achievement oh, called Toucan of My Appreciation. I, and I, I guess I, I guess our our gizzard is kind of our mouth with teeth because birds don't really do the yeah. whole like chew thing. Mm-hmm. Mm you could take out your teeth and then put rocks in your mouth, V. Yeah. Do You'd all have to birds eat rocks? All birds have gizzards, but not all birds eat rocks. <laughs> okay. Gotcha. Uh, Good to know. Okay. Do di did dinosaurs swallow rocks? Thank you, Google. I did. I did want to know that too. I was curious. Ooh, it seems like I have to draw so like many dinosaurs cards. might have, yeah. Dinosaurs ate rocks too. There you go. My freaking egret hasn't got me a single fish this entire game. Dang. Because I've been is somewhat the, uh, reliant on you actually succeeding with that. <laughs> it, it missed it again. <laughs> I think this is the worst egret. I feel like I never. Your yeah, egret I feel like is I never starving. Get those. <laughs> Help! <laughs> Help! I just swallowed a bunch of rocks. I need something to do with them. <laughs> I ate rocks for nothing. Upgrades for birds' teeth. There we go. This one actually seems valid now, given the context. <laughs> Upgrade for egret for the fishing pole. There we go. We're getting them all. <laughs> uh. 
Yeah, we did make a lot of anatomical decisions instead of just being like, what if we just gave them like human brain? Yeah. Bird smarts. Bird smarts. Tetris. So they can make their own teeth. They can make everything with their human brain now. Bird Tetris. Uh, Game Bo Bird Game Fortnite. Bird Fortnite. Bird Fortnite. Oh, Bird Night. Bird Night. <laughs> bird Fortnite. Uh, bird uh, microtransactions. Oh. Oh, five dollars. Buy a third yeah. wing. I, I found. Yeah, I found. I think I found the hack. Bird microtransactions. That's all of the upgrades. It just costs money. Yeah. I. I want to play a video game like that, where it's just like a fine game normally, but the DLC is like fairly cheap, but just makes the game go off the walls. Yeah. Like, pay pay four bucks. Have a second player character simultaneously running alongside yours. Does everything you do, including in cutscenes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So like, you're twice as effective in combat, and dialogue becomes <laughs> horrifying. <laughs> Just, yeah, and even an even more simple one would just be give your character the ability to move and act during cutscenes. <laughs> <laughs> like you're actually paying to just debug the game. Mm -hmm. I just, how many of you guys Boy. played Metal Gear Solid? Do you do you remember how you could uh, kill this? Uh, what was his name? The the sniper guy. The end. Oh, I, yeah. I was actually about to say the only one I've played is Snake Eater. That's exactly the one you're talking about. You can kill the end by just setting the console forward enough in time that he dies of old age during your yep. boss fight. Well, yep. you can also snipe him during a cutscene, like prior to that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. More games like that. Uh, Mario Galaxy, snipe Bowser before he takes uh, Peach. Easy. Ooh. Easy. Yeah, if you can move in the opening cutscene, because it's always like Mario just standing there while Bowser comes, picks up Peach from directly next to Mario, and then just walks away, and it's like, do something now, nerd? Yeah. <laughs> always just standing there with a shocked expression next to Luigi and Toad. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to think of how Mario. Paper Mario Origami whatever started. I feel like that oh. one... They did pretty good job of making it a little, not to say brutal, but pretty rough. Yeah. The gore was a nice touch. Mm. <laughs> the first yeah, team-rated just... Mario. <laughs> <laughs> Mamma mia. I just played Origami King, and I don't remember how it started. Huh. Alas. Easy. Ooh. Where are we at? We got two turns. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we're actually. I mean, if we go fast on the last round, it's actually not too bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Especially because the last round is less strategic playing and more like, how can I get more points fast? How do I lay yep. as many eggs as humanly possible? <laughs> as birdly possible. <laughs> Fire the egg gun. I wonder if he's still activating his his draw effects from a couple sort of times ago. Yeah, because you have so many. You have so many. <laughs> Select any bird from any habitat to spin an egg. Okay, I was doing it wrong. Oh, the loon! I just realized how cute the loon animation is. Oh, yeah, because he's got a baby. You got baby. Yeah. Bonus bird. Bonus bird. New Bonus update. Bird. Yes. Bonus birdson. Bonus bird son. Uh, okay. Oh, I don't have enough. Egg. I guess I put on that one. Or no. You can do whatever you want. I I can I do whatever I want. The problem is choice paralysis. That is true. Mm. <laughs> Do the leftmost thing. Black Vulture, when another player kills a bird, gain a food. No. 
Turkey vultures have a better sense of smell. I lost it because he in his terms. Okay, I have a better <laughs> sense of smell. So black vultures follow them to food. Thank huh. you. So they're just they're the vulture vulture. They follow vultures around and steal their food. <laughs> wow. Rude. Yeah. Wait, I didn't notice that the osprey actually has like a bleeding fish in its hand. Oh, <laughs> claws. Oh my god. Hardcore. Oh no. Are we looking at? Oh Dude, yeah. Mine. Oh wow. That's graphic. That is a dark bird. Yep. He just this shakes is... it sometimes too for fun. Well, yeah. Mamma mia. <laughs> yeah, he's shaking the fish out. The first. I feel like that's the very bird thing to do. Just shake it for fun. <laughs> I mean, I'm yeah. not gonna get too far into the human condition, but <laughs> no, they, they got to do some shaking because they want to. Just... They want to make sure that they got some rocks in their stomach. They got to jostle it's... around to hear them go clunk clunk, so they know they don't have to eat more. <laughs> clunk clunk. <laughs> what if you, I mean, hey, what if you had to eat your teeth and you didn't know? You, you oh know? man, I wonder if you could trick a bird to eat a bell, so that when it eats, it jingles. I, I mean, yeah. What? Hear me what? out. Feed bird teeth. <laughs> I mean, I I don't think we're talking about upgrades anymore, guys. Hear me out. I'm Feed a human bit rocks. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh my god. My family had a dog that actually did eat rocks. Oh. Literally no reason. It wasn't no like gizzard. oh they were by the grill and tasted good. They were just like no I found a rock and I ate it, guys. I'm gonna need Would surgery. Would it puke it back like up? Or, yeah, you'd have to take oh, it for man. surgery. Yeah. yeah. Yike. Ugh. Yeah, I always wonder if like the dog has some kind of plan in mind. Because <laughs> we were at the cookout the other day, and you know we had two dogs there. One was snapping at bees, and I assume <laughs> the dog knows what a bee is, but maybe it doesn't. Maybe it doesn't. Probably yeah. not. A lot of dogs have no clue and don't remember True. well enough, unless they've actively been harmed. And even then, sometimes they don't. Mm. I did it. I played the cigar yeah. bird. Maybe they know <sighs> they'll get more attention if they eat rocks. Uh, the big it's brain. Big brain. I mean, like if I if if I ate rocks at my, at my local cookout, I would get a lot of attention. So, yeah. wow. Stonks. And then, <laughs> and then you get banned. That's no, I would get surgery. Well, yes, <laughs> but then if you did it again, they would be like, okay, please stop coming back. <laughs> I mean, really that's implying I would get invited back the second time at all. <laughs> well, yeah. I, you said your local that's, cookout. That sounds like the kind of thing you invite yourself that's to. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I, I left out some information. Uh, oh my gosh. How did I get this bird? When did that happen? The whole time? I think I've had it the whole time. How do I how do I have all this you guys are feeding me like crazy? Yeah. Thank you. you guys are keeping yeah. my stomach nice and full. Or is this just other people giving you uh like uh, yeah. giving you berries and wheat, or do you got an ability that I don't know about? I think I'm getting it from all you guys. I think. I give people a berry and a wheat every time I take resource. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because I will admit, kind of uh, I ended up with a bunch of birds that are supposed to ben benefit off of somebody with a predator, and uh, that has not paid out for me. I was going to bottom feed my way to victory. It's yeah. my egret. I'm telling you, it's <laughs> failed <laughs> every single so bad. fishing moment. You need to upgrade him with the fishing pole. It's true. <laughs> It's like, I, I hear Stardew Valley's fishing is really bad, and like, if you don't oh. do mods, it's <laughs> terrible. That's like, yeah. like this is unmodded Vs Stardew. Egret mod, just no <laughs> fish. Yes, it's unmo unmodded Stardew. As soon as you get the fishing pole, you don't go to the uh, the NPC to buy the stew for the plus one fishing stat. Your egret doesn't know. And we can't make fun of him for it. The game didn't tell you that the fishing sucks at level zero and it gets easier as you play. 
You level, it's, it's, it's an interesting thing. It starts out and it's in, like fishing at level zero in Sardew Valley is actually very tough, but then it gets real, it gets easier. Until mm -hmm. you start running into the really hard ones and then it's not. It's true. But like, it makes sense from a, like learning how to do a skill in real life standpoint, but from a video game standpoint, it feels backwards. Like you think that you like, you have to eventually get to the hard part and then you catch hard fish and it's difficult, but no. You just don't know what to do with the fishing pole right away. Mm -hmm. The scaling is just the difficulty of the fish you try and catch rather than your ability. Oh. But... Yes. Oh dear. Oh fish. Adi, did you know that Rhapsody stole Ooh. your thunder? He did what with my thunder? He stole your thunder. Stole it. No. It's my Where thunder now. I, yeah. I missed it. What? Which? Which thunder? I don't was know stolen? what we're talking about, but I. I agree. He's got a cigar I'm... bird. He got a hey, secret cigar wait, bird. What? But I got a cigar. Where is the cigar bird? Where is the secret, secret little cigar bird that's just hanging out? What? What are you? What are you talking about? Raps has got a cigar bird in the forest. What? Secret little cigar he bird. Does. Told nobody. What the heck? A little cigar bird? There's, what? Yeah. Oh, I'm you mean the Vox's Swift that looks like a cigar? Yeah. Oh, I was looking for God. one that looked like it had a cigar in its mouth. Like it's, it's got like a bug coming out. It looks like, like, meh, yeah, she? Mm. Yeah. The poor Swift is defined by its, by William Sansom Vox. He was a wealthy mineralogist and naturalist. Nothing to do about the bird himself. Only care about William. Yeah, God. always living in his shadow. Ridiculous. Even its name is just a compliment to William. Like, man, Vox is swift, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah, so he uh, is. quick game-related question. Yes. <laughs> yeah. um, wow. I had something in my hand called Breeding Manager, which I yes. think is like a spell card. Yeah, it's a goal card, probably. So yeah. end of Do game, you... that will have its oh. uh, its trigger condition assessed and you will get a certain amount of points based on what the card says. Got yeah. it. Not quick play magic. Gotcha, no. gotcha. No. no spell speed on the uh, breeding machine. <laughs> no. Huh. Uh... Turkey vultures are very light and can soar great distances for hours without flapping. Their nostrils are so large you can see right through it. When threatened, they will projectile vomit at whatever uh... startles them. They will also defecate down their own legs, as their <laughs> urine is very acidic and actually quite clean. By doing this, they kill parasites and pathogens that cling to their feet due to wa walking and rotting meat. Uh huh. And yet, That's when I tell people something... I'm just cleaning parasites off, apparently I'm ruining the pool for everyone. No, 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 no. It's true because Believe athlete's it. foot. You can get rid yes. of this with your own. Yeah, urine. foot. Yeah, there oh. you go. <laughs> <It's your own laughs> foot. You just kick your it. Foot. <laughs> if you're a true athlete, you'll just kick it off. Just kick it off, man. Uh. Oh, God. Um. <laughs> oh, no. Humans one, bird zero. Example. Oh, man. This is annoying is like time. The resources I need are the exact resources that y'all have so rudely decided to avoid putting out for me. Yeah. I haven't grabbed from the food thing in forever because I'm just being... I got Fed. a full thumb. Yeah. Mm. Remind me to always play like. this with V so he can feed me. I think Madi has given us a bunch too. I mean, I think I'm also... I've a, I think I have a thing that... Oh, give, is that Madi? Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah it's I've, been, I've been giving. Yeah, I've been giving. I'm eating berry from the Madi food truck right now. Yeah. Yeah, I have a. I have an all players gain up. Right, V is the one that gave us cards occasionally. From time to time, yeah. Yeah, I stopped yeah. doing that. Yeah, but Madi is the one <laughs> that's just been. Off. <laughs> just been throwing food our direction. We've just been sitting yeah. there, happily munching away. Oh. What I can say is once you understand the rules, it is actually not that have not half bad of a game. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty fun. It's, it's 
It's a great, like, the physical version of this is so nice. Like, it comes with really, like, high-quality boards. You get an actual, like, physical bird feeder you put together and you roll the dice in it. It's, it's a great family board game. I want to pick it after, up, but the digital after version round is one. so good. Yeah, it's true. I like having both, though. Yeah. But, yeah. Great family game after round one. I, uh, speaking of buying board games, so I went to the local board game store and I wanted to pick up Terraforming Mars because it's also, like, a really mm. good board game. And, like, the digital version's decent but doesn't have all the DLC and is a little buggy, so I wanted to pick up the physical version. They have the big box, so, mm. you know, I think it was kind of like the, uh, the Binding of Isaac, uh, what is it called? Re Re Four Souls. What? Uh, Requiem? Yeah, Four there we Souls go. Requiem? Thinking it was like Four Souls Requiem, I picked up the big box and I was like, hey, uh, hey, employee, uh, does this just have everything for Terraforming Moon Mars? And they're like, yeah, I think so. And then they came back later and it's like, yeah, it's got everything and also some like plastic things. And I'm like, cool. So I bought it. And it was like 200 bucks, which is like, yeah, this, this seems like it's a lot of board game, but it was pretty yeah. light. So we're like, mm, maybe not. So like halfway back, I'm just furiously Googling and I'm just like, Nope, there's no game in here. It's just plastic pieces. So we just turn right back yeah. around and they're like, we're going to waive our no return policy because, yeah, this there is no yeah. game inside this. Yeah. I did the same thing with... I, I bought Everdell Pearl Brook before Everdell. Oops. But Everdell instead was good. I just... Yeah. But instead I just bought the other game too and spent like a hundred plus bucks on a board game that we have not used the expansion for because we're still learning how to play. It's I like it. Everdell is one of my favorites. It's good. Yeah. It's great. I like the big I like any game that has a big physical object that you can put stuff on. Like the fact that you put cards on top of the big cutout tree, it's just fun. Yeah. It just makes it memorable to look at. No fish. No fish. In four dice. And I get to do it again too. And it's gonna be again. You, you got, got that one? with that attitude, absolutely. I got one fish. For the fish. <gasps> Let's go. Egret's been upgraded. Egret's online. <laughs> Not just a bird dating website. You fed my magpie and my vulture. They're finally. <laughs> I love how I got more resources off of V's move <laughs> than poor V did. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. Good egret. Good egret. Good egret. Birds all around. Birds all around. Yeah. Man, and to think if you'd been able to actually get that egret rolling this entire time, I would have just been absolutely crushing it. <laughs> yeah, it's rolling four dice per attempt, and it does like two or three attempts per activation. Because like I have another one that replicates the egret. Yeah. Yeah, that's... <laughs> and it's only succeeded once ever? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah, you can see the little one on it. That cash it gives you one point at the end of the game. Huge value off this game yeah. right now. Oh my econ out the wazoo. Econ. Econ econ. I uh, I have only now realized how strange the hooded Berganzer looks down there. V <laughs> that, that little hat he's got is something. Uh, okay. That's just his giant mondo brain. <laughs> yeah, he's a yeah. big brain. Yeah. He got he that, got the human brain expansion that we were talking about. <laughs> yeah. He <laughs> bought the DLC. No one he knows where he got the money from. You know, the Pelican just ate the money, but the Merganzer knew what to do with it. Boy. Y'all are thinking way too hard for the final couple rounds. I j just got to my turn. <laughs> just I know second. you're thinking too hard. I I, <laughs> I need a sassy me. speed run. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. And you're the man that owns the real thing. I, I've only played it like four times. I do own it. I want to play it more, but you know, you need people. I, I guess you have, it, it does have a single player mode. You yeah. don't need people to play this, but still physical board games. I just the thought of playing sitting down and playing a physical board game by myself makes me a little sad. Yeah, because <laughs> you've, you've 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 uh, you've made a, a choice or like You've decided. I'm not saying that, like, it sounds like I wish that I would do it. I bet I would have fun if I did. 
but you have to sit and think for a second about the fact that nobody wants to play with you. <laughs> you have to make that, you have to come to that realization every time you sit down. Mm -hmm. Makes me sad. That, that concept makes me sad. Well, is it possible that, because I suffer from this, I have a lot of people who say they want to play games and I am never the one to say, hey, let's play. I'm always the one waiting for the invite. Oh, absolutely. It's true. Also, it, I mean, it requires people to, to, visit, to, to be invited to, yes, to, to the house. But yeah, it's just, I don't know. It's always like, it's the end of the day. The game's like an hour long with two people. It's like, I don't know. This this is one of the reasons that I really like that like I live with my partner, but we also have a roommate who's just like a mutual friend of ours. Because anytime we've just like you know we've organized dinner around six thirty, we'll finish dinner and I can easily just say, Hey, anyone wanna play a board game right now? Just get one of these bad boys yeah. out. We got a shelf directly next to the dining table. It's lovely. It's like a permanent That's sleepover. It's a human upgrade. Yeah, no kidding. Human That's upgrade, the... social contact. That's the hu human teeth for birds for people. <laughs> <laughs> human teeth for birds for people for dummies. <laughs> Featuring Dante from the Devil May Cry series. <gasps> Dante! And Knuckles. And Knuckles? Mm -hmm. Wow. D did you hear it has a new funky mode? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. How funky you get? Okay. That's pretty funky. Oh, I've still got three rounds. Shoot. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, oh, sorry, go, fa uh, sorry, go fast. Uh, sorry, go fast. Sorry, yeah. uh, go fast. Yeah. Are you uh, don't sure you're wanting too much? Excuse me? Uh, excuse me. I need more fish. Oh. Yeah, if someone could be giving us fish. Monty, can you get a, a give everyone fish guard online, please? Yeah. <laughs> Monty, no, Monty's playing no, support. No. <laughs> I have the when other people play wet bird, oh. I gain fish. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Was that when other people play wet bird? Yeah, when mm -hmm. other people play wet bird, you get fish. I get fish when play wet bird. Play wet bird, get fish. Okay. Yeah, what? Sure. There is no step three. So speaking of getting other people to play board games with you, I went out and bought a pair of really neat looking bo board games before my family come to, came to visit last week. I picked up Oath and I picked up Nemesis. <laughs> Oath is kind of like Root and Nemesis is effectively like... Uh... Oh, shoot. Like the Aliens movie, probably like Alien 2. Um, and <laughs> my family gets here, looks at both board games, it's like, nope, too complicated. And I was like, no, but these board games I bought for us. Yeah. And then yeah, we tried to learn it and up. it was a mistake because they were way too complicated. Highly recommended picking, yeah, like, that's right. I have complicated board games and then I have a couple of board games that are just like really nice and clean and simple. Like, uh, highly recommended Love Letter, $10 at Target. Mm -hmm wonderful game for for that situation fits in a little pouch takes five minutes to explain great game so you get also good for that if it's complicated or not based on how long it takes to explain yeah pretty much it's it's if it's a game that can when you say what it's kind of like and you can utter the phrase i guess it's kind of like war then yes it's it's i would say it's a pretty straightforward one All right does time matter in that at all? So like, yeah, this is uh, an easy game, but if it's an hour long compared to doing like three 20 minute games. Yeah, I mean, it, it depends what the situation is. Love Letter is great because it's one of those games where the rounds are like a few minutes and the idea is you just play a lot of rounds and you just be like, okay, this is the amount of rounds we're playing to. Those, those games are great for that situation. But, yeah. You could also, uh, bird fight. Bird fight. If you, bird if you've captured, a captured any. 
I got a new murder bird that I'm training, trying to evolve it. Just so I'm understanding this. Just from understanding this correctly, this final round is total number of eggs on birds with a specific nest type or star type, but it still caps at five. Correct. Caps at five. Okay. Yeah. Caps yeah. So there's two different eggs at the end of the game are worth one point anyways. So. Yeah. Oh, wow. there's two different scoring yep. mechanisms that you might want to keep an eye on. Uh, the one of them's not relevant here, but you can either have each player has the ability to get a score up to five in each of the categories or you can have you compete against the other players and the person who wins gets the most points and then the person who goes second gets the next amount of points etc so on and so forth um one of them makes you play a little more actively and look at everyone else's boards this one i think is just more enjoyable and more relaxing makes sense this one matches the music of the game yes which is zen as hell now, the other rounds where we had to have, like, eggs in trees or eggs in straw nests, that counting stage is done, right? Yes. Yes, each of the previous ones. At the end of the round, yeah, at the end of the round, you tally up what you had for that round. Correct. So right now, it's just the eggs in the... I don't even know how to explain that, that nest. Like but, one the dirt. Yeah. Bup, bup, bup. But yeah, we're... we're... Uh, Wander and I only have one more turn. Raps has one more turn. You guys have two more turns. Then we're done, though. And then it'll tally mm -hmm. up everything for us. Yep. And we can watch it very slowly do the tally as well. Yep. It's true. And then we can watch as Wander inevitably. Oh my god, he's done it again! His egg <laughs> apocalypse! <laughs> I. Every single final round, eggs. It's, yeah. I it's don't just, do yeah. anything mm -hmm. else. It's just eggs. It is what you do. It's just, it's a very efficient way. It's very efficient. Lot points. It, it's a lot of points. It's a lot of free points, effectively, that you don't have to finagle around drawing or, you know, getting sufficient anything. Gotcha. Not the most optimized build. I could have done better. Uh, I spent too much time getting my food engine going, and then somebody started throwing food at me as soon as it was done. So it's just like, <laughs> well, now what do I do? Yeah. Uh, they, they feed you so much generously. Uh, yeah, I know the feeling. <laughs> Boy. Oh. Oh, that, oh, wait, am I that giving been a much more eggs? Are you? Lay one egg on current bird. It's kind of weird. Yep. Whichever bird is activating that will just immediately put an egg on itself if you let the trigger go through. Yeah, I feel like there's no world where you don't do that. Yeah. No, I don't want free points. I think I made a mistake. I could have netted like one extra point, maybe. Yeah, I made a mistake. I could have netted, I think, like nine more points. Ooh. Oh, I almost maxed out egg. But that would have involved more thinking than I mm. feel like. Oh my god! Every bird I flip over is too big for me to kill. I am a terrible bird trainer. Alright, there we go. Laying eggs is a very quick mm. action. Mm -hmm. Egg speed run. Egg speed run. Speed egg. Yeah. There we go. Speed egg. Turkeys are really silly birds. Like, you guys know how, like, f most birds will fight their reflections? Turkeys will, like, waste an entire day fighting their reflection in a puddle. Yeah. They can't handle it. If you get close to a loon, they'll flail their arms around to try and scare you away literally forever until you go away, and if you don't, they'll actually drown and die. Instead of just swimming away. I legitimately cannot tell. You said arms, but I cannot tell if you meant wings and are serious or not. Their arms. They flap okay. their wings. This is true. This is true. Loons, if you get close to them in the water, 
and you're in like a canoe or a boat or something, they will like they'll flap their wings so hard that they're kind of like coming out of the water like a like a speedboat uh, tilted up towards the sky, and they'll just keep on doing that literally until you go away. And if you never go away, they will die because they will drown instead of swimming away. They just they're super committed to the bit. I mean, you gotta respect it's the illegal commitment to the now. bit. Yeah. Gotta respect the commitment to the bit. Bit until I die. <laughs> oh no, but, I don't have any more birds with that nest. No. Oh. Let's see, can you lay egg? Oh, you're pretty you're pretty egged out. Ooh. Only seventy two hours left, eh? Yeah, 72 yeah, hours. <laughs> it's 72 hours. You got to speed it up. I mean, it's less than that. It's 71 hours, 59 minutes, and 13 seconds. 12 <laughs> seconds, 11 seconds. It's ticking. Nine, eight, seven. Six, Lay those eggs. Five, four. We're all going to die. Three, two, one. It's already happening. Zero. Mm. Oh, he's maxed out on eggs. Mostly maxed he's, out he's, on eggs. He is a, an egg boy. For he sure. egged up. Oh, my God. Yeah, okay, here we go. Dice outside bird feeder. There's none. Correct. I I just wasted my egret turn. That was gonna be the turn I got massive food. Oh man. Here you go. Have a bird. Bird up. Bird up. Wait, what's happening? Oh, wonder. Oh, yeah. We get to draw. <laughs> just yeah. gain a bird. I'll take the painted bunting. Thank you. You what? also <laughs> might be able to plant an egg on a uh, on a certain nest because everything activated. All right. What? What? Wait, um, it's back, wait, it's back, it's back to one here. Yeah, that's that's what yeah, I meant. One more turn. He has the ability to plant an egg on a uh, like a bundle nest because of something I activated. I don't think I can do that. I yeah, am, you have no way to put it. I am birded up. <laughs> I'm birded up. Oh, like, hey, thank you. No problem. Done. Uh, 13. <laughs> wow. Way to go, gang. Good job. Good job. Wait, what? Is it All done? Right. Is, some, is something oh, happening? There it is. Oh, there it goes. It's done. Oh, Click yeah. In the bottom right, yeah. I'm just watching it uh, queue up now. Oh. oh no. We all got max of five. Ooh. Oh no. Ooh. I didn't get that many eggs oh. out at the end. Oh, boy. I don't know how I didn't win based oh. off cards. But oh. I tucked a lot of cards. Holy tuck. You oh, baby. little tucker. Oh, wow. Wow. Right at the wow. end. Good thing you. Oh my god. Oh my. That, that was, was close. really tense and competitive. Hell yeah. Yeah. Good bird fighting. Near, near the end. Yeah. It was exclusively tense and competitive while watching the numbers queue up. All of the previous yes. stuff. Yes. Just it's, no tension. It's funny. It's like that's the only, mm -hmm. yeah, the only tension is literally the graphs. Hey, both of you guys got your end of round goals. Congrats. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, nice. I had three end of rounds, uh, so I had three uh, bonus cards in hand that were the kind of goals I was working towards. One of them was just for having uh, birds that would accept any wild thing. And I managed to get 12 points out of that just by playing ah, six wow. different birds that accepted wilds. Yeah. Okay. I was I was one bird away from, I had a bonus card that was like um, birds that can only be played in the, the grassland or the middle place, the camera, camera which is grasslands, mm -hmm. whatever. Yep. Uh, and I would have got, that's what I was saying, I would have got nine more points if I did, or like five more if I would have done that instead of played more eggs. It was, mm -hmm. it would have been, it would have been smarter. It would have been apparently enough. Oh, heck. It's a good oh, thing heck, that indeed. I don't care. Congratulations.